booktube hello yarn tube hello youtube hello you it is sunday the 26th of november it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i just had one of those moments where i looked at the time and i was like oh god where has today gone where has today gone and then i realized i was looking at a clock that <laughs> hadn't gone back <laughs> so it said four o'clock and i was like god where has this afternoon gone and actually it was the wrong time so <laughs> it was the time i thought it should be so that was quite amusing excuse me oh um so yes good day so far i hope you're having a good sunday wherever you are and you're having a nice relaxing time if you want it to be relaxing fun time if you want to be out there doing fun things or staying in and doing fun things you can do fun things inside i gather so i've been told and um, I'm doing something a bit different today. I thought we would sit by one of my bookcases. Here it is, right here. Um, I'm actually sat on the landing. The husband and Benedict are downstairs. And I thought I'd go through some of my books. Because people have asked for a um, bookshelf tour or for me to go through books. And I'm never going to do a full one. I'm just I'm just not it's just it's just not my thing um but I thought as something a bit different we would have a good bookish chat about some of the books that I've got here and um they may be books that you've seen in the past oh excuse me I'm gonna have to move something that's uncomfortable um we just because <laughs> I had keyhole surgery I have got two marks on the side of my abdomen and then they've gone in just under my belly button just under my belly button and they use this kind of super glue stuff over the stitches and it's kind of the super glue is drying off and everything and flaking off and is itchy but it's also pulling on the stitches as well so whilst it's very hygienic and is, is going to stop any infection getting in there it's right where you bend you know it's right at that point of view which makes it a bit tender at times. So it's just just caught me there, but we're all right now. Um, so yes, yeah, so I thought um, I'd show you some books, books that I used to have up in other bookcases that have all migrated here. And I thought we could just sit and have a little little bookish chat for 10 minutes and uh, it might start off your week in a bookish mood. It might be a book here that you remember and fancy rereading or have heard me mention and quite fancy having a nosy at or something like that. I just thought it'd be something a bit different. The other thing I wanted to show you was Ooh, there we go. I asked on my somebody said to me, had I read Outlander? And I said no, should I? And there was a resounding, yes, you should read it. And so I was saying in comments that I had it on order. And it came, it came yesterday. Was it yesterday or Friday? I can't remember. It came. I mean, stupendously quickly. So there it is. I have, oh, that's a good sound, Outlander. And that is going to be the book that I start on the 1st of December. So what's that Friday? It's going to be my first December read. Um, and then it's got all the books on the back. So you're going to tell whether I like it because you'll... I'll have ordered the next book and then ordered the next book and, and work my way through. So I'm hoping I do. It's the first novel in the outstanding Outlander series. So there we go. And I have got on, um, Outlander on Amazon Prime. And I've watched the first episode, um, but I haven't watched any further. So I think what I'll do is I'll read and then I'll watch. OK, so there we go. It's there for all those people that love it. So we're going gonna, we're gonna to just I'm just going to grab some books actually let's go over here we go you're gonna have a look so this is at the bottom shelf oh you're gonna see me at some very funny angles you'll just have to bear with me so here we go bottom shelf so what have we got down here poison artist oh that was good that was good i enjoyed that that was a crime set in the san francisco bay area um, it was the first Jonathan Moore I read and I really enjoyed that. Recommend that. Oh, so wonderful. If you've not read nor any Nora Ephron books and you like Harry Met Sally and you just like her, was it Harry Met Sally, Seaplus in Seattle? It is her, 
her semi-autobiographical one and it's just joyful it's a short novel and it's wonderful that's so good um interpretation of murder what's that about gosh sigmund freud in america that was um, a novel i read that years ago oh yes that's quite good that was the witch's daughter i read that last year i quite enjoyed that and that one those both paranormal reads the martian has anybody not read that or not seen that mary wesley now that was one of my mum's favouritest books. Um, and, oh, these are very old editions. Um, and I have reread that and reread that and reread that. I've reread most of Mary Wesley's A Dubious Legacy. I don't think it's one of her best, but The Chamomile Law Lawn. If you would fancy just oh, a good, a good kind of um between the wars first world war family friend saga with some intrigue and a bit of sauciness mary wesley she was tremendously popular at one point ghost written by david mitchell i really enjoyed that if you can see that i really did enjoy that when i read it it is similar to um cloud atlas in its format in the having the interlocking um, pieces. And did I, I actually think I preferred this to Cloud Atlas. Tenderness of Wolves. I don't think I haven't read that yet. Somebody gave me that. I should probably move that. Then we go into my Philippa Gregory section. Can you see? So what have we got? The Constant Princess, which is about Catherine of Aragon. Lady of the Rivers, which is about Jacqueta of Luxembourg. So it's all in that series, isn't it? It's called The Taming of the Queen. I read that earlier this year. Was that earlier this year or last year? Oh, I thought that was brilliant. That's about Catherine Carr. That's the last of his wives. I thought that was really, really stupendous. I really enjoyed that. The Other Queen, which is about Mary Queen of Scots. This is her is that Earthly Joys by Philippa Gregory. Can't remember. Oh, that's about the gardener, isn't it? About the Tudor gardener and Wildacre by Philippa Gregory. So I read those. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I'm not sure why I'm keeping that, actually. That might be one I, I get rid of. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love, love, love. We got... Oh, that was fantastic. If you're interested in uh, the Bloomsbury set, Virginia Woolf, this is about Vanessa Bell, who was Virginia Woolf's sister, and I adored it. Absolutely adored that one. 100 Years of Solitude. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, Ian Banks. Huge Ian Banks fan. Absolutely love Ian Banks. Literary fiction no longer with us unfortunately but i thoroughly enjoyed that so there we are so that's the first of this kind of shelf i'm not going to be i'm not going to be able to do all of it otherwise this will be a very long video but we'll just carry on a little bit further that's my harry potters no these are these are my harry potters benedict has his own harry potters um and he has the complete set um oh i have a cat that's come to see I think they're hungry, and so they're all about me. What have we got here? Oh, here we are. Philip Pullman. Got some Philip Pullman. The Tiger in the Well. Oh, I've got the Amber Spyglass, which is the last of the His Dark Materials, and the Subtle Knife. Um, the Husband lent the first one, Northern Lights, to somebody. And we never got it back. So I have been looking for it in that set. I enjoyed it. We went to see the um, uh, the production of it at the National Theatre where they do all the, your daemons and it, as shadow pup, as puppets. And it was, you saw both parts, part one, part two, which covers the three novels of His Dark Materials. 
um, in one day. You could either do it over a couple of days or you do it in one day. And we did it in one day. Um, and it's something like seven hours long. So it's three and a half hours and three and a half hours. And it was just stunning. So if you ever get a chance of seeing that, that was that was wonderful. And let's have a little look. What else have I got here? Percy Jackson. That's the first one. Um, I've got the rest of the Percy Jackson series, but I haven't read them yet. Oh, this is a bit uncomfortable. We're gonna we're gonna have to be quick now. Um, and then I've got a selection of Ruth Rendells there. Who are they all? Inspector Wexford. I believe they are all Inspector Wexford. The monster in the box. I have read all of them, but I don't remember Vault. I don't remember that one. That's the one I don't remember. Maybe I should have a read of that. That might be quite a nice, calming read, mind it? So, yes, um, I have just have those there. Some of these books, I'll be honest, have just been put here and then have never migrated and been put somewhere else. Let's have a look. What can you see? Can you see? Yes, The First 15 Lies of Harry August by Claire North. <gasps> Do you know, I loved this when I found it. I found this book... For 50p in a pub so some pubs they do have little sections excuse me oops you're going all funny sorry about this Ooh. Ooh, there we are bending um so some pubs have kind of like you know second hand books or i don't know how many hand scissors gone through books and then the money goes to a charity and we were happy to be sat there and i saw this and i'd said to said to the husband like a day before or that morning well i really must try and get hold of that book because it's something i really would like to read and it's the crimson petal and the white by michelle favor and this is a, a an edition you can't get hold of now i mean it's it's so it's so worn and and everything like that um i just i i mean i adored it i absolutely i galloped through it so victorian london a tale of prostitution and redemption and obsession and corruption and I just I mean it's it's so good fantastic <laughs> how literary fiction can be you know I, I really love that yeah. have to put it back can't just can't just leave things anyway let's carry on having a quick nosy so the night film by Marisha Pessel. I thought that was okay. Um, I thought it faded. I thought that I thought the first half, because it's a mixed media book, and the first half of it I thought was really good and really enjoyable, but I think it faded. Um, and I'm not going to say anything about the ending because if you haven't read it, it would be a spoiler. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you've read it, are you with me on that one? Um, next to, see this is an odd mixture isn't it, next to a nice collection of romance. So if anybody that's interested in romance and wants to know where to start, you could do wrong with it. If you like contemporary romance, if you like the idea of contemporary romance, then Jill, so, uh, can you see that okay, her Jill Shalvis, I can never pronounce her name. She does a series called Lucky Harbour. There are 12 books into it. They're all, there are romances set in this one place, Lucky Harbour. And it's just a really good collection. It's a really good collection of romances. Um, and then I've got my Tove Janssen books with next to it. I've got the summer book and the winter book. Here we are. What have we got here? Yeah. It's okay. I wonder if I was, I was too young when I read that. Ooh, Ernest Hemingway, Sun Also Rises. That's actually the husband's books. He read that. That's one of his. Then we've got at the end, a bit of Val McDermott, James Oswald. I mean, he has a very devoted following, doesn't he? Jim Butcher, that's the first one. And then my Maria V. Schneider. I've got four, five, six and seven there. That's four, five, six, and seven. I have one, two, and three on my Kindle. So there we go. Have I got a bit of time? Right. Couple of minutes, couple of more minutes. Can you bear with me as I get up? Oh. 
It's a bit tender. Oh, I have a good stack of books here. There we are. The Long Earth, read that earlier this year. Nevernight, I read that. Did I read all of these this year? Oh no, I didn't read this. Didn't read that, among others, by Joe Walton. Loved, loved. I wanted to like it more than I did. I really wanted to like that, but I, I didn't. And a lot of these I think I read last year or earlier this year and have just put them here for the sake of it. I thought that was wonderful. I think it was one of my favourite Daphne de Maurier's. I really did. Enduring Love. <gasps> has, has everybody read Enduring Love? Have you read Enduring Love? If you're looking for a literary fiction that you're going to find like grippy, that you want kind of grip lit, or if you know somebody who's in their, I don't know, I don't know, who hasn't read any Ian McEwan and wants to kind of know what he's about and, and wants something that's really just going to captivate you and you're going to be taken and it's, you're just going to not want to put it down and you're going to want to find people that have read it. That's the one for you. I mean, he, he just captivates people and he turns people into kind of utter obsessed fans. Does Ian McEwan. With that book in particular. When it came out, I was, I was working in the bookshop then and people were just like bringing it back, <laughs> coming in with it, going, I've read this, give me something like this because this has is, is changed my life <laughs> kind of thing. It was, a, it was a really funny book for doing that. And you'd be like, really, that one? really it's enduring love and they're like no i want something like this anyway so yes so there's some of my my black spine it's black black spine classics um there it is dun, dun, dun. let's have a look oh that was the edition i read glorious 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 um, and then on the top shelf, I have some romances, quite a few nice little romances. Oh, oh, Mary Raker. I must read some more of hers. And then let's turn that round and you can see my lovely little collection of, can you see those? My lovely little collection of Francis Brodie's. There we go. So, sorry if that's a bit spinny. So there we go. So that's a very quick go through that, that bookcase. And I'm not going to do it with other bookcases. But I thought that was a nice little one that we could do here today, now. I'm just going to put you here. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. Let me just... Got to tidy. See, this is one of the rules, you see. From years and years of working in a bookshop, if you take books off, you have to put them back because otherwise they get moved and you don't know where things are. And that is like kind of horror for me with book <laughs> bookcases. I have an amazing memory for where books are and where books can be and should be and stuff like that. So, but there we go. There we go, there we go. So I have my first book for December. I am going to come round to your houses if I don't like it and say, come and knock on your door and say, but you, but you, but you said I'd like it. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> and there we go, booktube. There we go, yarn tube, yarn tube. I am going to, in a couple of days, I'm going to sit and do my next, my third yarn chat. I'm going to go and answer your questions tomorrow I'm going to sit down and do that and then I will film that Tuesday or Wednesday and there we go so there we go booktube I hope you've enjoyed this little nosy through one of my bookcases and uh, maybe some other time I'll choose another bookcase and we can randomly sit there together and have a good look through it if you liked it so if you have liked it give me a thumbs up and so I'm going to do it again if you haven't liked it just don't do it not my thing <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you again so I'll see you again tomorrow all right then